drank all this already. Okay, I have always been a dreamer. I don't know if you're a dreamer. Um, I know some people are like, stay away from those crazy dreamers. I remember as a little girl, my dad and our family, we would get together um, and we would get in the car sometimes and we would go drive around, okay? I live in uh, Houston, Texas, okay? And then there are some huge neighborhoods with gigantic, I'm talking crazy, houses. We would drive around and, you know, kind of be inspired, you know, uh, and I've done this even to this day. I'll go and drive around in certain areas that I'm like, yeah, this is, this is where I want to be. So we would go like on Sundays or something like that, or when my dad was off of work and sometimes we would go and, you know, we would just get inspired. And it wasn't about like having this huge house that you, you don't even know how many rooms are in the house or anything like that. But it was really more so about, hey, that person knows something the rest of us other jokers don't know at all. Some people may say, well, maybe they inherited it. Well, whoever gave it to them knows something, right, that we all don't know. But my dad sort of kind of tried to teach me, my brother, and my sister, um, you know, to figure out what it was we could do in life that could lead us to that kind of lifestyle. Again, not necessarily from the uh, materialistic things, but when you see somebody driving a, a, a car that's not so average or in a house or condo or whatever that's not so average or taking vacations that are not so average, anytime I see a Lamborghini just flying, listen, the other day I was uh, driving over here and I saw a Pagani. I don't know if y'all know what this is, but it's uh, the car, I think it's like over a million dollars or something like that. It's first one of, it was no, the second time I've ever seen one in my life crazy freaking car okay what is that person doing you know what are they doing that i you know i just i don't know but is it really that they have some information that we don't know what i've really come to find out is that uh these people that are living these types of lives it's not that they have access to some secret information it's a lot of times they just took and ran uh, further with opportunities than any of us will ever do. Well, I'm not, but, but maybe you are. But I mean, <laughs> they were able to, uh, you know, actually take a little bit more action than they dreamed. Lately, I have been doing a lot of work. My work ethic has really um, gone and increased, and I feel I still feel like I'm not even doing enough because I just realized, listen, you know, if I really want to live this no boss life. If I really want to be able to uh, have time freedom, then I'm going to have to be willing to work harder for myself than for anybody else, okay? And there's some pe people that are the opposite. They're working harder for somebody else than they would ever work for themselves, and they wonder why certain things aren't happening in their life. These are the four things I've been doing to increase my work ethic, which uh, then returns more money for me. Like I said in the beginning of the video, I'm kind of a dreamer. You know, I've been instilled with having some sort of uh, like a bigger vision for my life and having a certain lifestyle ever since I was a little girl. Okay. And I'm kind of a dreamer. And, but the first thing that I have stopped or are doing a lot less is daydreaming. And I know that daydreaming stuff is almost a part of like the law of attraction type stuff, but, and I still daydream, but it's, it's different. Okay. There's some, there's a fine line between thinking of your goals, thinking of the life you want to have, and then, you know, crossing the line of, be of it becoming daydreaming and almost going into fantasy land. We're sort of being sold this lifestyle. You know, the people that are buying the cars, the houses, the, the dream vacations. Men are targeting other men by showing all that stuff and showing all the women they can be around. Women are targeting other women who will have this lifestyle, showing all the vacations we can take and all the purses we can buy and shoes we can get on like those shoes and also showing like some hot dude they're with right so we'll end up kind of daydreaming you know about when we can do that and there's a fine line between daydreaming about that stuff and like thinking positively every day towards your future um and daydreaming is bad you don't want to fall into that too much uh be, and how you can tell is after you have these thoughts every day of what you want your life to be if action doesn't follow those thoughts very quickly or as soon as you have time to do uh, some work or to put in some work, uh, you're in fantasy land. So I daydream, but it's not just about materialistic things or the finer things in life. It's now, wow, I can't wait 
um, to be able to master the skills I know that money follows. I can't wait to master YouTube even more than I have. I don't think I've really mastered YouTube, but you know, even more than I have, I can't wait to be able to master Facebook paid ads. I can't wait to become a, a really, really good email marketer. I know that when I think on these things and then take action right after, these are the income producing actions that will get me the money. Number two, this kind of goes hand in hand with number one, I've kind of changed or I've added goals, okay, uh, to what I want. So a lot of us have like income goals, like I wanna make 50 bucks a day, 100 bucks a day, 500. Personally, I wanna get to where I'm making at least $1,000 every single day. Those are all good and well, but those should not be the only income goals that you, or the goals, period, that you should focus on. For me, it's, I'm a master at Facebook ads. I'm a master at YouTube ads. I'm a master at uh, Instagram, a master at email marketing, a master at Bing ads, a master at creating websites, a master at funnel building. Like those are the goals that I now have in line for myself again, because I know that if I, you know, do really well with that in those areas, that's when the money is going to come. I feel like I'm talking. I, I'm just, I talk so fast and get so excited. I feel like I'm doing a workout. My, my, my heart is, my, my pulse is just, just, just doing this. And I ain't on crack, just coffee. My, same thing, okay, same thing. Okay. Number three, this is gonna sound like the most cliche, right? Everybody says, I've heard this all my life. Write them down, write your goals down. And more so than just your goals, but a daily or weekly activity or to-do list you have to complete every day or every week. I've got a whiteboard right here and a whiteboard right here. On this one, I've got the bigger things that I need to focus on, that I need to master by the end of this year. Um, what well, it is at the end of the year, but you know, I gotta build two uh, other funnels on top of what I already have. I have to, I put uh, brainstorming ideas of what I can give to you guys in this uh, channel to help you guys. On this whiteboard here, this is like my to-do list. Every single night, I'll usually update this second whiteboard here on things I know I have to do. So even this very video is on my whiteboard. Now, number four is probably, I mean, one that's really pushing me almost more than everything else. And that is using a part of the hard experiences or lessons I have learned as a part of my why. I've heard people say, what's your why? Find your why as to why you want the money and things like that. People's whys a lot of times are like, they just basically want to live a life where money isn't a problem. Maybe if you have kids, that's your why, or somebody you have to take care of, that's your why. And I think, think something may be a little bit more effective because I hear a lot of people who use you know, responsibilities as their why, but they're still not doing anything. Not judging, but it's like, well, obviously that why isn't strong enough if you aren't taking the amount of action you need to take. Even if it's like, my kids or my family is my why, and if you're not working and grinding hard every day, then even your family is obviously not a strong enough why. I'm not saying that I'm judging or anything like that, it's okay, but I think right here, this number four is what's really helped me using certain places if you have been homeless before, if you've been in a place where it's like crazy, or maybe you're in that financial uh, place right now where it's just so bad. You know, for me, it's like, I remember what it was like to be in a certain place. I don't ever wanna go there again. How do you do that? Well, I have to keep excelling at this stuff. If I don't, there is a chance, my chances increase again of going back to that pain point. And I don't ever wanna do that again. That is a big reason why <laughs> I've had this huge mindset shift uh, earlier this year. And I think this is going to stick with me for literally the rest of my life. That if you can get your work ethic up, and I'm, I'm not talking about breaking your back. If you can pair working hard and smart at the same time, then everything that you, and also no matter how long it takes. So when you write your goals down, for me, it's like, I'm going to master Facebook ads no matter how long it takes. I'm going to master email marketing no matter how long it takes. I'm going to master uh, making websites or making funnels or doing YouTube ads or whatever. Uh, I'm going to master that no matter how long it takes. And so, um, you know, that's just basically what I'm on. And I wanted to share it with you. Let me know if you got some value from this video and if you may implement some of these things also.